Alrighty guys, in today's video, we are going to be replacing this helmet with a new one. But first, I'm going to give you guys kind of an overview of what I've been wearing for the past three or four years. So this helmet lasted me through the beginning phase of mountain biking. It so far has protected my head. And now that I'm more of an intermediate rider, I need a safer helmet to suit the style of riding I'm doing. As you can see, this helmet is pretty well used and abused. There's scratches and dents all over it. As you can see here, it's just more cheap foam with a plastic shell covering it. You've got a pretty small visor here, some very minimal padding on the inside, normal buckles, and then a bit of an adjuster right here. Nothing special. So here's what I was looking for in a new helmet. First of all, I wanted a larger visor. Second of all, I wanted a better ventilation system. This did not do very much. If you look at it straight on, the only real ventilation ports are right here, since all of these right here are blocked by its own foam. And third, and most importantly, I wanted a more technologically advanced helmet that would offer a lot more protection. So now that I've wasted enough of your time with this old helmet, I'll show you what I got. We have here the Gyro Montero MIPS. If you want to know what MIPS stands for, it's Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. I think I got that right. Before reopening this, I'll just give you a quick disclaimer. I got this around a week ago, and over the past week, I've gone on at least seven rides. And I figured I'd do that just to give you guys my honest opinion, tell you what I like and don't like about it. So here we go. All right, let's open this up. we got the helmet so lined up here we have everything that came inside the box very important instructions and we have a gopro mount so while you might be at home sitting on your couch watching this video and thinking wow that's awesome it comes with a gopro mount this is actually the one con i have to this helmet and that is the first time i put it in it was ridiculously hard to attach it goes right in on this air vent up here so i haven't used this i'll see if i can get this in Set it on right there, and then you just got to force this little piece of plastic sticking out right here down. Okay, that went in a lot easier than the first time. Uh, let's see if we can get it out. My one complaint is, like most plastic parts, when you have to really force it, it feels like it's about to snap. There we go. It was snapped out. Uh, I would suggest that if you know you're going to be using a lot of GoPro helmet footage, put it in once and keep it there instead of wearing out that plastic part by constantly removing it. Take a quick look around this helmet. Uh, one of my favorite parts on the back here, all these vents are coated in this really nice rubber. Overall, that's probably one of my favorite things about this helmet is you can tell there's just a high attention to detail. Everything from these little knobs right here, or you can adjust the visor, it'll fit goggles under there. Anyway, it just is very good quality. High attention to detail on the bottom here, this plastic wraps all the way around underneath. On the back side right here, we have this adjustment knob, tightens and loosens the helmet. And then we have these straps right here with this gyro symbol embedded. It's awesome, honestly. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick story. Today, my brother and I were going on a bike ride. We have this gravel road nearby that we like to go down. It's about two miles long. You pick up some pretty good speed. Uh, at the bottom, usually there are two concrete barriers that are side by side with about a two foot gap in between that you can just ride on through. The road's closed. Uh, today we came on down and the two blocks were about 20 feet apart with the normal road closed sign in between. So I figured I'd just go around the sign and I'd be fine. Right now I'm going about 10, 15 miles an hour, maybe a bit faster. And about two feet before passing the sign, I noticed that there was a wire padlocked onto the concrete barriers. I mean, it was unmovable. So I'm coming down two feet before I freak out. My bike gets caught in the wire. The bike completely stops. I get thrown over the bars and land on my elbow and the visor of the helmet. So the visor got bent a bit, but after straightening it, it is completely the same as it was, aside from a scratch or two. Extremely durable. So, I mean, that to say, this is a very sturdy helmet. I mean, thankfully I'm fine. It didn't really impact my head too hard uh it's just a great helmet i think that's all i'm gonna say so let's talk money on amazon this is going to cost you between 155 and 175 dollars depending on the size and color you want i was super happy to find out it was going to cost me 80 
since this particular color was on sale. Overall, I would definitely recommend this helmet to anyone. Just keep in mind that the high price you're paying is returned in the high quality and large amount of protection. Just a side note, something I've enjoyed doing while in lockdown, if you will, is going and finding scrap wood and then building mountain bike features for our yard. At some point, I'll do a video showing you guys what our backyard trail looks like. Something I'll add real quick, if you're wondering why I like to add these nature and bike pictures at the end of my videos, honestly, I enjoy taking pictures, so I'd like to share them with you guys. If you have any comments, ideas, or suggestions for this channel, add them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them, and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching.